Welcome to the Alpine Tree channel folks, and today we're going to be talking about your favourite has been hotel character, Alistair the Radio Demon. Okay, I can't do the entire video in the radio voice, although I would love to, but that's right, with the climactic ending of Has Been Hotel, we've been left with a lot of questions, and I know I'm not the only one who wants answers, but easily the most mysterious character would have to be Alistair. There is so much we don't know about this character, and I think it's important to talk about and theorise what Alistair's character is all about. Who did he make a deal with? Why is he so determined to help Charlie? What favours would he possibly want from Charlie in the future? Why does he make deals with demons like Husker? There is so much that we don't don't know and today I'm mostly going to be theorizing about his character and what skeletons he could be keeping in the closet. Okay so let's go over what we do know about Alistair. For one he has a reputation of being the radio demon and has taken overlords down before and broadcasted their screams over his radio show to instill fear into others and make an example for anyone else who thinks about challenging him. Vaggy herself in the pilot episode explained that Alistair manifested in hell overnight and is a mortal with such raw power and ability that it makes him one of the strongest characters that that we know of in the show. Then we know that he made a deal with an anonymous individual which makes Alistair on a leash of sorts with how Husker explained it. Alistair also is very determined throughout the show to make deals with the main cast, one of those being Charlie, which may end up playing a massive part in the future. Scratch that, it will play a massive part in the future because since his arrival he was trying to make a deal with Charlie knowing she's the daughter of Lucifer and Lilith and you only want favours from royalty if it's important. Now Alistair is a pretty powerful demon, he was able to to hold his own for a while against Adam and we see him being able to use several demon powers such as demon transformation, manifestation, shadow warping and so much more. We don't have that many characters to power scale him against but what we do know is that in order to take several overlords down you would need a pretty decent amount of power and like I said earlier Vaggy herself described him as being one of the most powerful demons hell has ever seen. I also would like to know who exactly Alistair made a deal with and the evidence strongly points towards Lilith and I know I I'm not the only person who thinks this, but what sort of deal would Alistair want to make with Lilith? And why do I think it's Lilith that he made a deal with? Well, for starters, in terms of what deal they could have made together, one strong reason could be more power. He has quite the reputation, and to uphold a reputation like his, you would need a lot of power. So it could be that he made a deal with Lilith for more power, to further his own motives and goals. But then what would Lilith want in return? Possibly for Alistair to look over Charlie? I mean, why else would he show up at the hotel if it didn't have something to do with Lilith? As for the evidence of why I think it's Lilith who Alistair made a deal with, we know that Alistair took a liking to Charlie and for some unknown reason wants to help the Hasbin Hotel, but then we also find out later on in the show that Alistair was gone for 7 years. Now it's funny that it drops this information because Charlie also states in episode 1 that she's not seen Lilith in 7ish years either. Bit of a coincidence don't you think? I mean what's the chances of Alistair and Lilith both being gone for 7ish years and that not being connected? There is a reason we get this information in the show and for both of them to be gone for seven-ish years just seems pretty obvious that it's connected in some way. Not to mention in the pilot episode that Alistair was looking very strongly at Lilith in her family portrait. Now of course with his smile the intention at first is that he's just being creepy, however if you are to take the theory that Alistair made a deal with Lilith then it makes sense that he would be looking at Lilith in this picture and not Charlie or Lucifer. I mean we literally see him look from right to left and his head stop on the left side to look up and down and give a smile. I mean he's always smiling but for a brief frame, his smile widens as if he has some sort of connection with Lilith. Okay, let's say that is a coincidence for a moment though, and let me move on to my next piece of evidence. The fact that Alistair wanted to make a deal with Charlie, one that doesn't require her to hurt anyone, which if that's the case, what could he possibly want? Well, I think it's one of two options. Option A, Alistair wants the throne of hell. He knows Charlie is next in line to rule over the realm of hell, and he may be able to break his deal with Lilith if he gets the throne and gains more power. Then there's option B, Alistair wants to use Charlie Charlie to simply break the deal with Lilith. I mean really, why else would Alistair make a deal with the daughter of Lucifer and Lilith? If he did make a deal with Lilith to gain more power, then he would want to break that deal so he can have all that power but not have his soul be trapped into a deal. We know he only makes deals to further his own goals and motives, and if Charlie's deal has the rule in place for her to not hurt anyone, then surely it would be to give something up. This could be why Alistair helps defend the hotel in the final battle. He wouldn't want Charlie to die if he could use her later on to break the deal he's a part of. And come 
to think of it, Alistair is very lucky that Lucifer came into the battle last minute to save his daughter, or his deal may have gone out the window. There is one more piece of evidence that I would like to use in my theory of Lilith being the one who Alistair made a deal with, and that's his aggression towards Lucifer when he meets him. His behaviour, attitude, and tone all changes when he's around Lucifer, and it's clear to viewers that he's not much of a fan of the ruler of hell. And as far as we know, there isn't a reason that we know of that would make Alistair hate Lucifer unless he made a deal of sorts with Lucifer's bride. And we know Alistair probably wouldn't want to make a deal with Lucifer, so Charlie would be the next person Alistair would go to for a deal to be made. What I also find funny is how Alistair really sells to Charlie everything he's done for her, when him and Lucifer are arguing over who's more fatherly. On the surface of things, it looks like Alistair and Lucifer are just having a competition of sorts on who is better father material, but what if Alistair was actually one step ahead and getting in Charlie's head that he's always there for her and that he will help her. This would slowly manipulate Charlie into making a deal because she believes that Alistair's always going to be there and that all he wants to do is help her. He also told Charlie this. <laughs> Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. Which, we do see Alistair always portraying a smile. Even when he's badly injured by Adam, he's always smiling. Not only is this unsettling, but it's true. He does seem in control of every situation, like he knows exactly what his next step is. I mean, right after he's injured by Adam, we see him more motivated than ever. That free freedom of fighting back has him riled up and ready to break his deal. Maybe he's now this excited because he has a way to break his deal, to find a loophole in his contract, and at the centre of it all is the deal he made with Charlie. The only other person I think Alistair could have made a deal with is Eve. We know that Eve didn't show up anywhere in season 1 other than the opening to episode 1, and from Charlie's side of the events, she believes that Lucifer offered Adam's second bride, Eve, the fruit of knowledge, which brought evil to the earth. Lucifer and Lilith ended up paying the price by being cast down into hell, but maybe Eve was too, as she would have taken a bite from the fruit. Maybe Eve has been down in hell in hiding, gaining power and manifesting demons overnight, such as Alistair, to go out and cause chaos over hell. Not to mention, the extermination of souls that heaven enacted on hell only started because heaven believed that hell was starting an uprising. Maybe a certain demon named Eve was the one starting that uprising. Then there is the deals that Alistair has made with other demons like Husker. Why would he possibly want to make a deal with Husker? and other demons. Well, we know that Husker made a deal with Alistair to save his power, but what could Alistair use Husker for? Possibly to have Husker as an extra person in the Hasbin Hotel, so he can use him to get closer to the main cast, and this allows Alistair to know everyone a little bit better, and therefore knows what to say to make more deals. But also, could Alistair be trying to make all these deals so he can recruit demons for the future? Maybe he wants to go to war with Heaven and needs people to fight alongside him, especially if he does plan on taking the throne of hell for himself. Also, so there's a little bit of a smaller theory here. Is there a connection between Nifty and Alistair, I wonder? I mean, maybe I'm just straight up wrong here, but I find it ironic how Nifty and Alistair are together right before the battle. Not to mention, they both share the same dye of red in their hair, and Nifty says to Alistair that she really likes them, talking about the main characters. I mean, she could have just been saying this as a passing comment, but I personally see this as Nifty and Alistair having some form of connection before they were staying at the Hasbin Hotel. Maybe Nifty also made a deal with Alistair. If we once again look at the pilot episode of the series, we know that Nifty and Husker both showed up when Alistair said he could cash in a few favours when the hotel needed staff. The fact that Alistair phrased it as cashing in favours must mean that Nifty has some form of deal with Alistair. Regardless of all the information and evidence I've shown, it's obvious that Alistair is up to something. I do genuinely believe that he's Lilith Alistair made a deal with. Going into season 2, I'd be interested to see Alistair's next move. We know he was pretty badly injured in the final battle, and although he did live, we may see some time pass for Alistair to heal meaning in season 2, I don't think we'll be seeing Alistair's plan come into play at the beginning. If anything, I'd say it'd be at the back end of season 2 that we start to get a lot of answers with Alistair's past. That's all I have time for today though, internet folks. Remember to stay hydrated and healthy, and if you'd like to see another video from me, click on this video next, and I will see you all in the next one.